Today, I'm gonna show you the most popular 100 relatable TikToks to show you guys that you've literally never had a unique thought in your entire life. Help, I forgot to put it on time-lapse. Oh God, I do this all the time. Not this specifically, but the amount of times I record a video and I just forget to do something like this. <laughs> it's so awkward. Oh no. Honestly, 4.5 million views for a mistake, though that's pretty fire. Me waking up at 3 a.m. You gonna check your phone, see what time it is? Oh God, nope, go back down. Is it just me or like anyone been hearing noises lately when they be sleeping? Cause like I keep hearing things and like I feel like someone be in my apartment and like I don't really know if they are. When parents are on call and they ask for that pen. When, they, when parents are on a call and they ask for a pen. Oh, when your parents ask for a pen on the phone. The stress of a situation like this is hard to comprehend. Like literally like they just don't wait. Like give me pen, no, give me pen, give me pen right now. Give me pen, give me. Like they do it so aggressively. And you know the person on the other side of the line can still hear what they're saying. What I actually do in the shower. All right, let's see if I do this too. You stare at the ground. Yep, I do that a lot. I, do, I also put my hands like this on my chest. I don't know why. I don't dance in the shower. Is that, is that, the, is people do that? I don't do that. Practice comebacks. I do this one so much, like pretty much every day. I like will have full on arguments in my brain for like 20 minutes. I'm like, wow. I don't have too many mental breakdowns in there, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't actually really do that. Do people, do people clean their thighs? Oh, you making some potions? Okay. I got in, I got in trouble as a kid because I used to make a lot of potions for my mom. And she said, you're ruining everything I own. And I was so upset because I was like, mom, this potion took me an hour to make. You better freaking use it. It was freaking disgusting. When you're sleeping and you think you're on your phone, then you wake up and you're just typing on air. Yo, I've never done that one. Why does this have 1.4 million likes? Is that what people do? You guys wake up typing air? You like actually do that? The biggest dream I have is I wake up and I'm literally going through my entire morning routine, brush my hair, freaking literally shower, go work out, and then I wake up and then I realize it was a dream and then I gotta literally do my morning routine again. It's freaking annoying. Wiping the crumbs off my bed. Trying, yeah, dude, they don't come out. I'm not gonna lie, this is relatable. See, the problem is they're impossible to get out of your bed. So you literally have to just completely change your sheets and get something new. That's the only solution. Uh-oh, uh-oh, get in the stalls, ladies. Get in the stalls, it's time to hide. That's the scariest noise, because you know whoever's got the walkie-talkie ain't messing around. Walkie-talkie equals authority. When your mom looked at you whenever the pastor said something about disobedient children. Oh, no. Dude, I feel this one. Like, he'd be like, children are disobedient. Should I go work out? Oh. Darn. Should I eat healthy? Oh, no, dude. Should I quit my job? Should I quit my job? Should I quit my job? You better Should get one in there. Job? Two thousand years later. Should I quit my job? Should I quit my job? Oh, he, he, did, he didn't get it. Job? Should I quit my job? Should I quit my job? Wow, he literally had to set it in there. That cup was anti-pen. I think this is a good way for us young people to decide if we should quit a job or not. We don't need magic eight balls. We need pens and a cup. That is the ultimate choice decider. I have to call my doc. Mm -mm, ice. I have to give you a lollipop ice. Oh, no. Ah! He's cured. Dude, school nurses are a different breed. Literally, like, I walked in there once as a kid. My whole front tooth is fake. I don't know if you guys know this. Like, half of it, like, I chipped it off. I walk in there. I'm, like, freaking 10 years old. And I'm like, my tooth is chipped. And she's like, oh, sweetie. Here's a uh, here's a lollipop and some ice. Who puts ice on a tooth? Do you know how bad that hurt? Adults reacting to the scale. Me. I want to be fatter. Wow, I'm heavy. Dude, why do kids do that though? Kids literally out here. I was at the airport last week. Every single kid is on the iPad standing there like looking down. There's gotta be an iPad shot in here, right? How about I reacted when mom beat my beat me as a kid? Oh, okay. Oh, I did this too. <laughs> I did this all the time. Yo, that's crazy. Is it normal? Oh my gosh, dude, I, I this is so weird. This feels so exposing. I didn't know that anyone else did this. I literally would do this. I would get on the ground, like on my hands and knees, and I would like grab the carpet and I'd be like, my life's over. Like, dude, it was weird. At least 4.2 million people did this. So if you didn't do it, don't judge me, all right? Others did it too. Oh, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. <laughs> it makes me sick. It's so nice out. That's me right now. It's literally December 14th and it's 60 degrees out in Ohio. I'm ready for the snow, fam. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. It's the, it, the best part of this is, is like the boyfriend standing there, like thinks like, oh, this is embarrassing. And then she falls down and he's like, we're done. We're breaking up. I can't do this anymore. Me getting on my girlfriend's phone because my girlfriend's on hers. Oh, she's gonna, oh no. 
She needs your attention the second you pull it out. This is how my family used to be. Like, I think my mom was like this. Like, you like pull out your phone, like she's on her. She'd be like, I want, blah, 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 blah. put your phone away. Mom, you just had your phone on the dinner table too. I'm the mom, I get to do what I want. I'm, I'm ranting, this is bad. Let's move on. When Google gives you the answer in the little box. Oh, that's good. That is good. Someone in Google invented this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, watch this. What time is it in Peru? That's what I'm talking about, baby, right there. I don't want to open up a page. I want that answer. That's just beautiful. When you look, when you work out once and get a little delusional. Oh, no. <laughs> He's buying a small. Dude, this is literally me. I've been working out for like freaking years now and I still have not seen the results. I think it's probably because I just don't work out right. I, uh, that's because I always skip my workout. No, oh, dude, that's so stressful. No, I thought I was the only one that felt that pressure back in high school. Let's go to the basketball game. Then you go to the bathroom and you got to come back and there's 10,000 people staring at you. Like, I, that ain't right. I don't like it. <gasps> me noticing my dog throwing up. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, our cat used to do that when he was old because he couldn't hold his pee in. And so one night he was sleeping on a pillow next to me and then he just started le letting it go like a flood broke. And then of course he decided to walk across my face down my entire body and then to the door, leaving a trail of urine down my body. <laughs> oh no, parents are gonna freak out. Oh God. Can someone explain that to me? Because I guess I've never had someone turn the lights on in my car, so I've never like understood if it's actually hard to see. But it literally feels like the entire world is about to fall apart when this happens. Dude, that's beautiful handwriting though. Wow. Wow. Just the sound of all the kids talking in that class right now just makes me feel so uncomfortable. Like, how are you gonna pay attention? What do we got? Oh! Yo, vibing with dad and the chicken feet. All right, all right. See, this isn't relatable to me because I could never imagine doing this with my family, my dad, anyone in my family. I think there's others like me. Oh! Oh! Last time I stubbed my finger, it was broken. Like, my pinky, still to this day, look at this. It, like, it doesn't, like, fully close unless I, like, really push it down because I broke it so bad. So, I'm literally terrified of stubbing my finger now. Wait, this one might be relatable to me because I am so short as well. Okay, this just made me feel still short. That did not help me. <laughs> oh, that is so true. You literally spend 15 years fighting and then you're just like, you know what? My siblings are kind of good. If you have siblings, you probably understand. Here's a question. Does anyone out there just not fight with their siblings ever? Like, is, does that exist? Is that like a real thing? Like, I've, I've never heard of it. Mixing water, grass, and dirt. Is it a potion or is it soup? soup? Good soup. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Here's the pro tip. If you didn't do this as a kid, you messed up. You take it, you mix it all together. Then you pour all the shampoons and cleaning agents together and then give it to your parents and tell them it's a potion to keep them young forever. Then they get mad at you because I think you created a chemical gas that's deadly. I always check for monsters at 3 a.m. So, oh yeah. Yep. I sleep with a sleeping mask on because it's too bright in my room in the city. And so every time I roll over it and face my door, I straight up always do this and peek out of it. And I go, anyone out here? No monsters? Okay, back to bed. I literally cannot sleep unless I do it. It's actually probably like kind of embarrassing, but it's how it is. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. When she grows to only 5'1", because I married for laughs, not height. Oh no. Some girl's gonna say that about me one day because, because I'm so short. Oh no. This one hits too close to me. This is too relatable. Me at one in the morning remembering I had an essay due at 11.59. <laughs> oh, I have been there. It is the worst feeling in the world. You look up, you freeze, your heart sinks, and you know that it's over. I've been out of college for a long time and I still have nightmares about that. To this day, it's haunting. Girls, I wonder if boys talk about us as sleepovers. Never really did, to be honest. All right, if I make this, you give me a kiss. This is pretty much accurate to exactly how boys boys hit his sleepovers. <laughs> it was it was, uh, it was different. Be honest. What do you do on Friday night? What do I do on Friday nights? All right, I'm gonna be honest with you after this clip plays. No, well, that's just, you guys look so short. He's like two feet. Is that how I look to people? I look like a freaking guy out of Charlie Factory Wonka, Willy Wonka, little Oompa Loompas. Anyway, what do I do on Friday nights? Literally nothing or literally everything. There's no in between. Either I'm going out doing something or I am in my room like this dude eating pizza. Not dancing though. Fizzy drink. I like the name fizzy drink better than pop. I call it pop. Do you call it pop soda or fizzy drink? <laughs> Wait, I did this like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and I poured it and I was like, oh man, it's overflowing. I can't believe it. And then I looked at it and it was like this much to drink. I was like, oh, I messed that up. When you're working with the boys. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. That's a little dangerous, my dude. You just pushed him on a roof. I'm just going to be honest, all right? I'm not trying to be that guy, but I used to work in safety. And they're not wearing a safety harness. I'm just saying, that was a massive OSHA violation. I would definitely write you guys up. I'll put you in jail. When mom says her handbag is Oh, no. This is the worst. I bet he's going to go back and it'll be right in the center of the bed somehow. I don't know. That's just... <laughs> if that's it, this is relatable. If not, then oh, I think my mom had magic abilities. Oh, there it is. Okay, so all of our moms <laughs> had that ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't know this was something we all experienced in our life. For me, it was like, Hey, yo, Zach, get the ketchup out of the fridge. And I'd go get the ketchup. I was like, it's not there. My dad would be like, it's literally in the front. I'm like, it's not. Oh. Do you want to pass all of your exams? Every time I see a dude with hair and eyebrows and a beard like this, I kind of think like, oh, that's similar to me. Without even studying? No. Yes. This is a big deal. I'm going to pause it here for a second so you guys have to wait. Okay. But. Okay. Me too. Oh, there's no answer. Well, that was disappointing. The teacher gives a speech in an assembly after an incident. <laughs> How can I be out of school for like, oh, literally, like I graduated high school in 2013 and I still can relate to this. It's now just. This morning, there's going to be a nice assembly. Oh. A positive assembly. But some of you. But after what I have been told. I got it. This morning, and as a consequence of all of your actions. <gasps> oh, man. Okay, and I'm aware that this isn't everybody. Oh, dude, this is so spot on. We had this happen once because the grade above me, like in eighth grade, the teacher left the room for like five minutes to take a massive dump and they literally stole the answer key off his desk, passed it around. And I think like 30 of them got suspended. There's a big meeting about it. Bro, I love these. This is the best type of video I ever had. <laughs> he gets hit by it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh man. I always go to bed at 10 and then I find myself looking at TikTok way longer than I need to. I have a genuine question. How many of you guys do that? Like, do you like go to bed and then you're just on TikTok and you can't close it because that's me? Eating a piece of bread for dinner? <laughs> My sibling? Oh, dude. If you guys ever see Isaac eating, all right, that is literally what he is like. Like, I'll sit down. Like, my dad will be like, hey, boys, I bought pizza home. Let's go have some pizza. And I'll, like, get a slice. And Isaac will literally have, like, 10 already eaten down before I even sit in the chair. He's like, <laughs> I mean, it's insane. Dave, I think you're on mute. Dave, you're on mute. <laughs> oh man, it used to be so polite, I bet. Everyone was probably happy to be home, not being in work anymore. And then it just became, I literally hate everybody. I'm so upset I missed the work from home revolution because I could have worked on YouTube videos while I was working. Hey. Start starting towards the window. No, <laughs> it's over. Oh, it's over. She's turning towards the window and she has food. Doritos and a milkshake and is still mad and a Kit Kat. I mean, what else do you do at that point? You got food and she's still mad. It's over. You're done for. And your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo. <laughs> really? Hey, shut up! You're gonna wake up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> when my siblings and I were trying to get to sleep, we did not laugh like that. We would fight and battle, and the victor would reign victorious. It was always me until they got bigger than me. Now we don't fight anymore. 2022, I should glow up. Okay, we're gonna try this again. It's gonna be good. I can feel it. Does she glow? Eat my vegetables. <laughs> She glue up and then she needed the vegetables. Now she's got to do it. The filter said it. Oh, you have to do it. There's someone out there that's going to actually use this filter and that's the motivation they need. They're like, oh, I shouldn't lose weight. Let's do it. Her. Oh, no. Another one of these. Me and the boys. Oh, no. <laughs> what is he doing? You wouldn't happen to know who this little guy is, would you? It's obviously a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that from my mom's Facebook? We'll ask the questions around here. And why does it say one? It's like <laughs> <laughs> you know why it says one. <laughs> oh, God. I obviously don't. Why would I even be one in the first place? Why don't you come and find out? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone waking up at the sleepover to 10 a.m. alarms. Okay. The person who said them. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Hey, first off, team did good. This is relatable. Every time I went to a sleepover as a kid, Oh, wait, no, that was me. I was the guy that had this 6 a.m. alarm, all right? It's 6 a.m., it always goes off. And I never wake up. I don't know why it's a thing. I just do it. And then I tell people I get up at 6, but really, I get up at 8. Eight-year-old me, asleep in the backseat. Oh, I didn't know other people experienced this. What the this was like a core memory I unlocked. Bro, you'd be sleeping, and you turn down the road, and something, some, the sound, the feel, you just, you're like, yo, we're home. I know where I am. It's crazy. When you can't find a parking spot, so they turn the volume down to see better. 
why do we do that? Like, I'll, I'll do this all the time. Like, I pull into my parking lot and, like, it's a free for all with parking. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna find a spot. So I'm like, let me just turn the music down so I can freaking find a spot somehow. That doesn't make sense. Hey, how do you think my team's doing so far? Are these relatable? If they are, drop a subscription. If not, all right, don't do it. But if, they, if they're relatable to you, you gotta subscribe. I made a deal. When you feel the stab, but you're fat. <laughs> well, when they stab you, but you're fat. Is that true? Is that how that would work? I'm gonna be honest with you. If a single one of you can relate to this, you've been stabbed and know this from your, your fatness, like, bro. This is so niche. I just don't know what my team put this one in at the end of the day, guys. What do you think? All right, let's see. We got something relatable here. Oh. <laughs> I... <laughs> what? Dude, okay. It was relatable until we started getting the smooth glide with the scissors because I never get the smooth glide with the scissors. I'm so bad at cutting paper that when I go to cut it, I cut it once and then give up and just start ripping it. So people's presents are just a disaster, man. They're like Frankenstein. Uh-oh. If I thought this would be a sibling thing, because my brothers would be like, instead of saying I'm not mad though, they'd be mad. This is relatable. This is relatable. Good job. When you're already mad and you bump into a wall. Oh! For me, it's not a wall. For me, it's walking. And for some reason, my pinky toe like senses when I'm mad. And it's like, hey, yo, boss man's mad. Let's go ahead and kick that wall right there. And like, I take a step and it's like to the left, to the left boom, right there. Head on collision. And boy, it just kills me. God, my mustache itches my nose. Your girlfriend gets mad in the car and starts turning towards the window. Hey, yo, we've seen a lot of these girlfriend getting mad things. I'm starting to feel like uh, my producer here is a little passive aggressive. If you're watching this, all right, you're telling us a lot about you today with these, okay? Also, minor crush. Guys, these are all about relationships. I think we're learning something about my producer today. Something's going on in her life. <laughs> She's in love. We're getting an entire life cycle of her love. She got like brokenhearted, then she fell in love from Tinder. Now she's developed and crushed and fell in love. There's a whole story arc developing here from these TikToks. We're getting pretty deep into it. When your pen doesn't want to work. Yo, nice Barca shirt, my guy. Chavi carrying him all the way next year. Wait, pen? So. If my pen doesn't want to work, I don't give it a second chance. I don't believe in second chances, so. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I throw it away. Me wasting all the hot water doing the house. <laughs> I mean, that's the benefit of living alone. But the problem is, I think I share hot water with all my neighbors. So, like, if I don't shower before, like, say, 8 a.m., like, I'm getting, like, a 30-second hot shower. It's actually horrible. But when I take it early, I get all the water. Well, my mom told me 15 minutes to go to get up, but I didn't hear her. <laughs> but I didn't, so I hear her coming and pretend I was up the whole time. Why do we need to get up? What, what do you want me to do, mom? There's nothing to do. It's cold outside. You grounded me from TikTok. I'll be honest, these are pretty relatable. I'm giving a subscription right now. I'm clicking it. Tap it on my finger right now. <laughs> oh, no. oh, man. I never thought of that. I never thought of how cats saw it. That's why they always look mad. God dang it. It makes sense now. Me, when I see a notification from my best friend saying I'm not coming to school today. A notification. Bro. A notification? Back when I went to school, there was no notifications because no one had phones. You would go to school and the bus would just pass their house and they wouldn't get on and your heart would break. You had no idea where they were. Are they alive? Are they okay? You didn't see them the next day. Where are they? A week goes by. They're still gone. And they finally come back. Oh, I was just in the vacation. You didn't even know. Imagine. Oh. Yes. That's what I was talking about earlier, man. This just happens to me. Like I was laying in bed last night, just laying there and suddenly my stomach was like, and I was like, yo, I'm dying. And then I went away. It was like two seconds. So we all do get those. Good. I'm glad this is here. It makes me feel better. Why do all moms wake up like this? Mom. <laughs> I can't relate. I haven't talked to my mom in, uh, well, it's been almost half a decade now, ain't it? Oh God, that's been a long time. How it feels turning the lights off before bed. <laughs> oh man. I feel this dude. I feel this now. That's why I installed Hue lights to control it from my phone. So I don't have to ever do this again. I just lay in bed and turn it off. You want to know something else? I sleep with a sleep mask because it's bright here in the city. Like I got to black it out or I can't sleep. Every time I rolled over, I actually take it off just to make sure no freaking dude or monsters in my room. I'm like, hey, yo, anyone in here? No, I'm bad. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Hyping up the miner's house. <laughs> this audience is you right here. Okay. It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. <laughs> this is so nice. And look at this. Girl, how you oh, get no. sparkles in the back of an animal? What is this, a care bear? I honestly, I think we all need a friend like that. If your builder isn't hyping you up like this, you need new friends. Straight up new friends immediately. Me posting a fire pic of myself, then ignoring my phone till the likes start rolling. <laughs> 
Guys, that's a great feeling. You know what would feel even better? If you followed me on Instagram and let me have this experience. Go follow me at Loverfella right now and then like all my pictures. Thank you. POV, you wake up at 3 a.m. and drink cold water. Oh, dude. I'm gonna tell you. Your phone should get enough charge so you can roll over. You can't go to sleep. All right, let me tell you about this ice one. I always sleep with water. I got something wrong with my tooth. I had a cavity filling, like, I don't know, six months ago or something, and they messed it up. Now, I think I need a root canal. Anyway, I went to the root canal dude, said that it was fine. Now, when I drink cold water in my bed like this guy at night, it hurts so bad. I don't know what to do, so I just deal with the pain right now. It's kind of sad. Playing games because I'm bored. Getting off because I'm bored. And then you go back to play games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is relatable. I'll be honest with you. I haven't been able to play because I've been packing so much, but Elden Ring, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you real soon. Oh god, is this your siblings eating? God, Isaac! Every time you eat, Isaac, you're an animal. You are an animal. I, you're probably not gonna see this, but I'm telling you again, you are a barbarian when you consume food, my guy. Gone. That quick, just gone. Boom, inhales it. I mean, eats like a barbarian, like a viking. It's just crazy. I mean, in his past life, 100%, my boy was a viking lord or something. There's just no doubt about it. How different ages sleep. This makes me miss being a kid so much right now. Oh, that's depressing. Actually, that's, that's depressing. What the heck? College students never sleep. That's me now. Crap, am I 50? Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm 50. I'm 50. I'm out here with the sleep mask. Although, the last few nights, I'll tell you what, I've been rolling around for an hour because it's so loud here. When a dog dies in a movie, I'll make you cry. <laughs> He's flying? Oh my god, where's he going? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> what if that actually is a real movie director? They, I mean, uh, god, I should do one of these videos. I should just fly somewhere and make a TikTok. Why not? When you thought he liked you because he said he liked you. <laughs> Yo, I think my producer is just calling someone out by linking this one for me. Maya, I... Did something happen to you? This seems relatable to a very specific niche of people, all, all I'm saying. When you're already mad and you bump into a wall. Dude, or you stub your toe, it's over. It's over, it's over. Literally for me, always my toe. Like something bad happens and I'm freaking randomly gonna happen to get my pinky toe clipped on the door. Like, why does it always happen? Only when I'm mad. It's so annoying. When you're the friend that makes everything funnier with their ugly laugh. I have a very high pitched laugh, like. <laughs> I can't replicate it, but like you'll hear it and it's like kind of, it goes high sometimes. Okay, I can't do it now though. I love how clean you are. I love your personality. Thanks. Yo. It's a disorder. Let me tell you about them Dyson vacuums, fam. I got one of these and it made my vacuuming a pleasure. I enjoy it now because of this. Me coming outside my room just hours after to get a snack. <laughs> Look who's awake. Oh my God, dude. I, I literally missed this part of my life back as a kid. It was such a good feeling, man. God. I miss that. If you're young and you experience this right now, straight up, like, don't take this for granted. This is a moment. Because now you go to the kitchen and you look at it and you're like, dang, I could eat a cookie, but I'll get fat. And now my metabolism's slower and I'm not as active. And also, this costs my own money. Literally, anytime I admire my wife. What? You just look so good today. Wow. You don't even like me. Oh, no. Okay. okay, I thought for a minute this could be relatable, but I feel like I've had this happen to me in my past. I've seen this happen and I'm like. That's like the face I make when they. How old are you? My grandma. I'm 24. Well, I got married at 22. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, no. you also couldn't have your own bank account. Madeline, <laughs> if she's gonna bully me, I'm gonna bully back. Yo, my grandma says some things I couldn't even put on TikTok. Y'all know, some of us just got some grandmas from a different, different level. She's from a different level. Oh, I don't wanna do this. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is this Please like everyone that up. I know, man? This is literally me. Please don't pick up. <laughs> Hi, is this Tony? Hi, this is- Oh God, this hit so close to home, bro. I'm not even kidding. My tooth had a cavity and I had to get it filled and then I had to go back three times and now I gotta go back again because it still hurts and I'm just putting it off because I don't want to call them. Oh God, I'll never make it this time. This is the end. Yo, this is me. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. To be honest with you, this was me when I was in Beijing a couple years ago, and I'm not even kidding. I went to an emergency room, stuck my hand through a wall, and Chinese people that didn't even speak English were stabbing me with needles, and I was like, I'm dead. I'm not making it home. Two months into 2022, 
World War III with Russia, energy bills riding. Hey, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm reading a book right now. It's about the end of the world. This is not a joke. Long story short, he's pretty sure the world is ending in America as we know it soon. So if you're not in America, congrats. <laughs> 20 minutes in the oven. Oh, it's gonna be black. Yo, I got a pizza story for y'all. Oh, I got a pizza story for y'all. I came back one night from some friend, threw a pizza in the oven, went to bed, and left it in there for 15 hours. Then I woke up and it was like pitch black charcoal, and I, I still think like, wow, could have died that night. How it feels turning off lights at night. Nah, I didn't need to see this. I did not need to see someone actually chase her upstairs. Nah, nah. <laughs> I sleep with a sleeping mask on because it's bright where I live and straight up every time I roll over I peek out of it to make sure there's no one standing near me. Like every night I've done this for three years. Three stages of waking up for school. I got a tip for you guys. I'll help you out with this one. The realization that it's time to get ready. No. Okay, the emptiness stare. No, battling the warm water. Oh my God, here is my tip. Take your alarm clock, put it on the other side of your bedroom, make it the most annoying blast ever. And every time you wake up, you get a heart attack. Boom, adrenaline, and you're literally awake in seconds. It's something I don't do anymore. Back in high school, it's a secret. Hey bro, why you didn't come to school yesterday? <laughs> oh, um, I ain't, I ain't really feel like coming to school yesterday. What? So I, just, I could I never do that. Home. Bro, why you stayed home, bro? You missed everything. What you mean, bro? What happened? The principal was in such a good mood that she took everybody on a field trip to Six Flags. Oh, no. Then after that, she rented a rocket ship and took us to the moon. This literally happened to me once. Like, I missed school and there was like a surprise trip or surprise cake or something in my class. And I was like, no. Can I fill up my water? When teachers say, take the longest route possible to miss the lesson. <laughs> It's it's uh it's pretty funny actually. We used to have one teacher that let us fill up without asking like our models, and it was like the greatest feeling of freedom I've ever had. I was like, is this what it feels like to be an adult? I can fill up my water without asking. We can go to the bathroom without permission. Seven in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's seven in the morning. I think every school has had every single one of those happen. But come on. There's literally never a time not to have Cheetos. Like, I don't care if it's seven. You need a snack, you need a snack. All right, get them Cheetos in. Which president is on the dime? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> that was <laughs> mad easy, bro. <laughs> not for real, though. Like, Dude, why don't I know this, bro? Right? I don't know. <laughs> if you get it wrong, you in the wrong grade. <laughs> easy, oh! Easy money. Who the hell picked blue? Who the hell picked blue? Dude, we didn't have these when I was in school. This like wasn't a thing. So we actually called them clickers and they were like these disgusting buttons and they went one through 20. You had like 20 options. Studying till four? Ain't no way. Bro, no, ain't no way. Yeah, procrastinating. I could never procrastinate my studying because like, I just felt like if I didn't study, I was like terrified that I would like never have a future and like would fail and everything. It's just frightening. Me casually working in school. That one girl highlighting every sentence. All right, let's be honest. It's not just one girl. It's like a couple of girls. And they're always seem to be in different groups. But one thing's sure, they are in band. My brain when I write in English. <laughs> to get her. Oh, man, I do this. I do this. Sometimes I say it like that, too. All teachers reacted when we weren't in the right seating Why are you not in the seating plan? I got brief. I got brief. No, I'm dying. You can have killed another student in my class. The worst is when there's no seating plan in college, and you literally get, like, an like you just pick a seat with your boys for, like, I don't know, three months, and then some kid just comes and takes it one day. I'm like, bro, I've sat here every day for three months. You're going to come in right now and try to take that from me? Like, is this about to happen? School life be like... Oh... <laughs> You think that's bad, my dude. Just wait till you get an office job. Trust me. Just wait. When you wake up for school, but you realize wait. you don't have math today? I'm done hating. Today is love. I love Am I in the minority when I say that I kind of liked math? Like, I kind of I kind of vibe with it. Weird scenarios in my head. Yo, I got this. I got this on lock. The fear that someone could... Bro, 100%. I'm t I don't care where I am. I will have a thought of someone who comes in like attacks us like in some terrorist attack and I have to find a way to escape. So I'm literally like, I'm gonna escape that way and then I'm gonna do a ninja kick in the head, knock him out, take the gun, protect everyone else from that guy over there. And then when I finally escape, the police will interview me and I'll stand on that podium. I go deep in these. I go deep. Your teacher looks at your paper during an exam and shouts this out. Let's take a look here. Oh no. Oh boy. 
guys, please make sure you're reading the questions carefully. Dude, that's like the, the biggest pit in the stomach moment ever. Like someone does this to you and my stomach goes and like just falls into my freaking foot <laughs> in the dark trying to find it. You literally feel everywhere except the phone. What I do is I then go back to my AirPods and I go, hey, yo, find my iPhone. And then they, they make it go. When you wake up and your PJ bottoms have turned into pantaloons. Bro, I actually love wearing my pants like that. That's actually such a vibe. Hey, come on. Either that or I sleep naked. One of those two things always happens. To me, it's relatable. I'm not an AI, which makes me feel good. When you're taking out the trash and the trash dudes get on you. Oh, oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Like, what is it? You know what I mean? It's always like a mystery fluid. Is it chicken guts? Is it like, is it just milk? I don't know. It's just disgusting. Gets on your floor. Me studying when I before my test. <laughs> yep. You just kind of look at it and you go absolutely as quick as possible and you call it a day. How I drink water? All right, let's see. Take one sip and pour it out. That would be the most relatable thing ever. Or chug it. I do that. I'll do that. It depends how thirsty you are. Like, have you come in from like a warm, like a, like a hard basketball game outside or something? Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. You gotta get that second swap for some reason then you pour it out i literally don't know why would your parents pay for everything oh man that's kind of accurate when you pay for everything a little splash of orange juice that's 20 dollars right there with the economy <laughs> a single ply of paper the toothpaste thing is the most relatable to me because toothpaste is expensive and you don't realize how quick you go through that stuff when you waste it trying to stay awake at one <laughs> bro these are literally all relatable to me like every single one of these is something in my own life that i have done already like every single one it's crazy when your mom tells you to wake up your siblings <laughs> yeah i mean for me I would do everything. Pour water on them, splash them, take their covers, yell at them, scream. I mean, I did it all. Introverts when they're alone. Waiting for neighbors. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did I say waiting for neighbors to come back so they can go out? Dude, I do this. Is that just, I mean, does that mean I'm an introvert? Can you guys tell me, is that not something we all do or is that introvert thing? First child. As a first child, I can relate none to this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, never mind. I do that all the time with my strawberries. Second child. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're just going to eat the stem. Oh, that's disgusting. It's so true. I was hoping to have a third child and he was going to just be handed them on a silver platter because that's how you third babies are. Take advantage that you're young and have energy. <laughs> Everything is so funny. Oh no, that's actually the most relatable. Waking up every morning having to be the funniest friend. This is not going to relate to a lot of us because we're not funny, but you know, there's a percentage of you out there that are the funny ones. My tongue telling me exactly where the food is stuck between my teeth. Yeah, it tells you, but I can't even get it. Like it's so annoying. Like you can feel something absolutely massive. Your finger can't find it. It's tough. That's all I always carry around emergency floss sticks. <laughs> no, take that away from me. Okay. 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 Introverts at parties. It depends on the party. If it's people I don't know well, absolutely yes. If it's like my best friends, it's not like that. You know, it just kind of depends on who you're with. You send a risky text. <laughs> oh, they open it. Oh, no. Bro started vacuuming the grass. He was so nervous. When you're halfway asleep and someone calls you, you guys actually have people call you? What the heck? Nobody calls me. I mean, maybe that's because I just don't answer anyone ever until they stop calling. That could be part of it. That one friend always sleeping. Where do you guys go that your teachers let you sleep because our teachers would like literally yell at us and give us detention if we what how did he get closer to you oh bro smells the lunch that was me i'm not gonna lie to you that was me i was that friend all right i am me walking into school i always didn't like walking into school i always got honestly anxiety about walking in the classroom like i hated it i would always want to be in before people because something about people staring at me walking made me feel weird mom to her friends yeah she's doing really well in her career and life right now everything's working out i'm so proud of her me currently trying to figure out my life <laughs> that is the perfect example to show how it, it is when you're trying to figure your life out when you turn like 23. It's like, I don't know anything. That one kid in class. Dang, I got a 67. I was a 19 kid. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I was a negative two kid, dang it. Some of you guys know, if you're watching, I know a percentage of you guys are that 99.8 that get mad. It is so annoying for people like me that always studied and always got like a negative 18. How can my mom hear me mumble whatever under my breath, but not me yelling what from my room? <laughs> That's true. They always hear it. I want to remind you that this is university. We are not going to spoon feed you. Now let us turn to yep. the first chapter. My professor said that. Uh, immediately go to chapter two. You'll read the first chapter by yourself. Yep. Now, and then chapter three, four, we're going to skip it because you did that in high school. <laughs> chapter this five. Is so true. And then chapter seven is the oh. most important one, which I will not touch on because I want to test your I intelligence. I want to test your intelligence. My very first week in college was exactly like this. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, it was literally just like this. When you take a nap after right. school. Oh, no. It's got to be like 9 p.m. Yeah. Don't be nine. Don't be nine. 3 a.m.? Those are the worst things ever. This reminds me of the time my friend fell asleep, so we rewinded every clock in the room six hours, and he thought he woke up at eight, but it was actually like 2 p.m. Bro literally missed so much stuff like that. It was it was honestly a pretty bad prank. My toxic trait. Throw it in. 
Throw it in. Yeah. I do that too with pretty much every cabinet that I own, but then like once a week, I'll pick a random cabinet and just deep clean it. Who mainly drink sodas and their teeth rot and fall out randomly. People who only drink water make it their entire personality. People who mainly drink coffee going insane from caffeine rush at 4 a.m. That has never happened and I mainly drink coffee as well. People who drink tea when it's not made completely perfect down to the last drop. Somehow my brother Isaac thinks that he can drink energy drink right before bed and he'll be okay. You get off the bus while it's moving? What? Ain't no way. Really? Oh, I thought you were actually gonna hop off. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, something like that. Me running from my brother after I hit him, I know he's gonna hit me 10 times harder. <laughs> that is so funny. It, it works until your brothers get bigger than you, then it doesn't. Teens are always on their phones nowadays. It is funny when you see boomers using their phones now in public, cause like, it's like, what, what the heck? This just doesn't seem right, I don't know why. When I come downstairs after my mom argued hours ago, but she's still angrily talking to herself. Hours ago, that's that's very relatable to me. Hours, days, weeks, it's all the same. <laughs> Someone random joins when you're joking with your friend. It, it's usually, I don't know. It's, it's something that I think every city. single person yeah. out there has experienced. You've probably been the guy who joins the jokes too. From room 252, and I'd like to order a sandwich. Hello, I'm okay. Hello, I'm a sandwich. I'm a sandwich. There are a lot of people that have such fear of calling people. It's weird because when I grew up, that's the only way you could hang out with friends. You literally have to pick up your phone, call their house, their mom would answer, and you'd say, Hello, can I talk to my friend? And she'd be like, No, he's busy. Like, that's how it was. Oh, no. Not a kissing scene with the parents. Oh, no. It was also bad when there was a kissing scene in school. It was awful. Almost falling asleep while watching videos. <laughs> I, I did this once on the school bus when I was a kid, and I finally realized what they call it nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, silly, you go. Yo. Everyone talking at the sleepover. Here's footsteps. Oh no, the parents, the dad. We've all had this happen. I, I'm good. To, I'm glad to know that I'm probably not AI so far. Someone holds the door for you 50 feet away. <laughs> it's so awkward. You literally just can't stop moving. It's You have to like speed walk and be like, thank you. And you just keep walking while you're like, thanks so much. Didn't need that. Getting my boyfriend to take a pic of me in the sea thinking I would look like this. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'm not really into taking pictures. So that one's not really for me. Me, whenever my mom isn't in the first place I look. Mama. That's me every time I can't find my cats, all right? Nothing is better than when you and your best friend are hanging out. Something stupid happens, you guys just laugh like for like 20 minutes. Like nothing, literally nothing. I was still thinking about times I did that and like like years later and just start laughing again. It's amazing. 859? It's weird because again, I never I never slept in like that. I would always be up on time, but like it seems like a lot of people didn't and that sounds like your life was so stressful if you didn't get up on time. Oh my God. It's like, and it's weird because it's like they don't even know their phone's going off. It's like, how are you not hearing this for 35 minutes? It doesn't even make sense. It, like I'm like, get up and put, I don't want to do the one. I don't even want to turn your phone off, but I usually am. When you told your mom you'd keep the duck for two months, but it's been two years, this is the ultimate trick, guys. If you want to have a pet cat or a dog and your mom says no, tell her you're just going to watch it for a day and lit like that. She's going to fall in love and the pet becomes yours. Oldest child. All right, that's me. So I feel like it's going to be sick get up, and you get, get no attention. School. Yeah. You're still going to school. Yeah, I don't buy it. Get up. Get dressed. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Yeah. <laughs> the middle child oh, thing. Mom. I'm sick. I can't go to school. This is my brother today. Isaac. This doesn't even Mom. show up. This is this Mom. is the most accurate thing. If you don't have any siblings, you don't I'm understand sick. how accurate this is. I feel bad for the middle child. Wait till you see the youngest. <coughs> it's so annoying because when I got sick and I had to stay home, I wasn't even allowed to play video games. And then when I got older and my brothers got sick, they'd be like, oh, here's your cell phone, here's a Game Boy, here's a Nintendo. Go do anything you want. Play the Nintendo DS all day. I don't care, it's okay. My family telling a dirty joke. Are you laughing because I understand it? Why are you laughing? Uh, this one I just can't relate to. I have, you know what I mean? I haven't lived at home for 10 years, bro. I don't know. Let's see, it looks like Domino's pizza to me. If I, I mean, I know my pizza pretty well. It's like Domino's. What is he doing? Oh, no, he was pretending to have a party. I literally did not get that at all. I just heard, thought it was a speaker at first. It just sounded like a speaker to me. That's really weird that I picked that up. First TikTok, student soon. What is that? Isaac, is that pretzels? What is he even eating? Is that peanuts? Is that ground coffee? Bro just took a spoonful of peanut. What's your review, Isaac? Relatable or no? Now nah, we use Red Bull back in my day. Back in my day, we used nothing. We just used the tears of our test grades. That's what we used. It was just pure tears. We cried a lot. Me on my way to school, knowing I haven't done my homework. Oh, that's a bad feeling. Did you ever do this? I honestly would get to the class and then remember I didn't do the homework. And then I'd panic in the seat. You get that pit in your stomach and you're like literally like freaking out. Oh, I get nightmares about that to this day. But then you realize school doesn't matter, guys. Just quit. It does when you're in school, though. Once you're out of it, it doesn't matter. When the juice is hitting different because you're standing up with the fridge open. Yes! No, I will never drink out of the yes. jug. No, it's not about drinking out of the jug. It's just about drinking with the fridge open. Guys, drinking out of the jug. That's what you did. I still do it. I don't even need cups. 
cups. Why didn't it, why waste a cup when you can drink out of the whole two liter? Ooh. I did it growing up, didn't I, Isaac? All day. Disgusting. 740, and you gotta be at school at eight. No, I never did this. I always got up on time. Did you do this ever? No, nah, only in college, never in high school. Uh, I, I never did it, like ever. I was always up like so early. I was waking him up some morning. Today's kids will never understand. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> this embodies me as a middle schooler. I honestly hate the fact, Isaac, that somehow a cable is now like retro. Like this dude, but this was normal five years ago. It wasn't even that long ago. Gosh, they always broke though. I'm glad they're gone. When did AirPods come out? 2016, it was literally five years ago and now cables seem like they were made like in the freaking 70s. POV, you're cooking an egg. Okay. No oil? Bro's just... <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I have no idea what this means. It's when you just wash the tips of your fingers. I do that all the time. Get the egg yolk off it. You don't do that? What? You just leave the raw egg yolk on your finger, dude? Nah. I don't get egg yolk on my finger, dude. I'm a barbaric. Expert you need to watch your eating and drinking. Me <laughs> watching the mirror. It's funny. <laughs> oh. It's funny. My doctor never told me that, actually. Did you ever get told that? Zach, I was always a little chubby growing up. They told me I was big boned a few times. I know. They really did. They were like, you're big boned. They told me to stop having bedtime snacks, though. When you realize in the middle of driving that you haven't been paying attention. Oh, yeah. I do this a lot. A lot, dude. And then I'm like, what if I died? <laughs> like, it's weird. Like, it's like, I'll just teleport like 30 minutes go by. Like, it's so weird. Do you ever think? Think like, wow, I could just drive off the cliff right here and die. Yeah, yeah, I do that almost pretty much every day. Not that kind of food. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> That would have knocked me out exactly. Dude, I get so tired after I eat, and I don't know why. Like, literally, after lunch, I'm, like, falling asleep. On the way to ask my girlfriend to be my valentine for the fifth year in a row so she doesn't get an attitude. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, if you didn't ask your girl to be your valentine, you've messed up. It's too late at this point. Wait, that's tomorrow. Yeah, did you do it? No. Uh -oh. oh, crap. We can uh, race car pilot. Let me start by... <laughs> so much yes. Oh, by man. Telling... <laughs> this is the most relatable one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the best one yet. Oh, no. Why car pilot is great. <laughs> just can't stop. <laughs> That is 100% relatable. Oh, man. Oh, dude, it's literally <laughs> the best. Those are some funny moments. When you're trying to turn quickly while saying thank you to the person giving you the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how's this wheel turn that much? It's just like went a full circle. Like, he keeps getting the waves up with both hands. How kids be vaping at eight. When I was eight, I was trying to figure out how cars got into malls. Oh my gosh, they used to give those things away and I never won one. How is a kid vaping at eight? That's my thing, like, nah. Every, like, everybody's vaping now. Vape life, bud. Bro, if I got a friend vaping, I will take that and I will chuck it a mile. I will do it, I don't care. I feel nothing. I'm trying to save your life. Being a little loud at a sleepover. Man, it just reminds me of that one time I was at the top of my friend's staircase and I was screaming at the top of the stairs and I turned around and his dad was right behind me. He's like, hey man, could you keep it down a little bit? I did the same story, but I broke their entire ceiling fan. <laughs> okay. When your mom tells you to wake up your siblings. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember just coming in and turning off the light. Bro, Isaac would just literally turn the light on. Like just, just turn it on and leave. He wouldn't even say anything. He would just turn the light on. It was the most annoying crap. The parent who hates picking up their kid's friends. Where's your friend? I oh. thought that we told her that we were going Gosh, she is here. such a good actor, isn't she? Bro, is this not like our mom? If I feel like a little bit. Didn't our mom do this sometimes? This I feel like me. Yeah, this is giving me PTSD. Me too, man. Oh, God. Yeah, we need a new one. This is so relatable. It makes me feel disgusting. I don't like that at all. Blame me for something I 100% did. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty good at blaming you growing up for stuff. Yeah, I was usually the one blamed. I can't relate to this. Middle child syndrome, man. I would take him out growing up. I'm not going to lie to you. Me finishing my food and eating like a normal human after my boyfriend devoured his food two seconds and now go sit in the toilet for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, that's very relatable. I mean, I eat fast. Like, I don't know why. I eat really fast, even faster than you. I'm usually done with an entire pizza. Right? I mean, remember that time I ate that Diablo Dare burger in like 30 seconds? Yeah, you, Zach, you are kind of like a vacuum cleaner. I see you as a Patrick Star character. Bro, I can eat. Hey, I got a 90 on the test. Hold up. Hey, what? Sir, I got almost all the answers right in this test. Yes, your point. So why did he get a 90 and I got a 40? You didn't show your work. I did the oh! work in my head. <sighs> Stupid teachers. This was awesome. so dumb. Should have showed yeah, your why, work. Why are you going to show your work? That 40 you got there says otherwise. So you're failing me because I didn't do it your way. You it's true. Issue? Here's a tissue. My way. My way. 
Or Bro, they just power trip, all right? Math teachers yeah. power trip most of the time. Y'all are look menaces. it up in the real world. Yeah, you don't even need math anymore. Just go to freaking chat GPT and Google it. Make sure to clean the bathroom after inhaling all the products I mixed together. Oh no. <laughs> but dude, you remember you remember the, the chemical bomb we made as kids? Yeah, we would <laughs> Yeah, well, we would make chemical oh bombs as God. kids. We would just mix everything. We made mustard see. gas once. Oh, I think we did. I don't know. I would my mom was like, Zach, stop making me homemade shampoo. Let's see this one. The teacher changed the seating plan. What do we have here? God, they always put you next to your crush. No, they didn't put me next to my crush. Oh. They put us they put my crush next to my bully. That's what they did to me. The two friends. That only happened to me like one time. The, yeah, I mean, you don't get next to your friend a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's. True, I'm telling you, that was it's, me. All it's day intense. Like it is intense, man. When this happens, it is an intense day. When they change the seating plan, it's scary too. Relatable. They used to do it on purpose. I think they did. Me staring at my bedroom one last time before I leave for work. Dude, that was me back in the day. Uh, oh. I don't think I've ever done that. No, that's not related. Oh. Dude, I did this so much when I worked in a cube. It was so bad. I hated it. When you're at your birthday dinner and a bunch of the restaurant's employees start walking towards your table with a cake. <laughs> with, the, with the guitar. <laughs> they come up. Oh, dude. And how this guy is the ultimate of relatable TikTok. It's the same guy again. Bro's life is just pure relatable. That one thing in your lunchbox you give to one friend every day. Oh. I wouldn't be giving away those chips. That's I used to sure. give away my milks because they were always like jello on the inside. <laughs> Dude, that's called spoiled milk. That's spoiled milk. That's spoiled milk. Randomly remembering I have a younger sibling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was definitely the kid in the couch. Yeah, but you know, I stopped getting taller, so it stopped when they grew taller than me. When the teacher calls on you, but you ain't raise your hand. Every day. I no, I used to raise my hand on the easy questions so she wouldn't do that. Dude, I literally don't know how, but I went from second grade till I graduated college without raising my hand once. Like, that's true. It's because in second grade, my teacher made fun of me for raising my hand, so I was like, fine, I'll never do it again, and I didn't. Emotional trauma. I have 15 years I didn't raise it because of you, Miss Fortgrave. I will never forget that day. When you realize you only replied mentally. <gasps> I do that a lot, dude. I don't know why. I'll be like, oh, like, that's an interesting message. I'm going to get back to you. Three days later, I'm like, hey, man, sorry about that. You hear a dad walk upstairs at 6 a.m. to go to work and brush his teeth. <laughs> Nothing beats that feeling of hearing someone get up and shower and know you don't got to get up. Like a snow day. The air temperature is a clean, crisp 45 degrees, and welcome to Columbus, Ohio. Your brother's barging in the room to show you something random. <laughs> Me dying from TikTok videos at 4 a.m. My alarm is set for 7. How are 3 million of you liking and relating to this? Guys, get your sleep. Stop staying up that late and delete TikTok or at least set a timer on it. Oh I'm scolding God. you like your parent. It's a school morning and you forgot to charge your phone. I think I did that like once in my life and it was like the worst day ever. I mean, I, I remember vi vividly that happening. Take that away from me. Okay. <gasps> I can't tell if I'm an introvert or not by watching this. Cause like I do this, but I don't like, it's like, like I actually enjoy being with people a lot, especially at parties. I love it, but I, I don't like, I also like sometimes need a breather. Like I'm talking too long. I just got to go pee. I don't know. Like, I feel like maybe I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I do this with Morel. Both my cats are sleeping next to me right now. And they instantly run away. I realize that you can't make them stay, but if they want to stay, you can't make them leave. They just, basically, you can't make them do anything. My parents haven't paid for anything for me in 10 years, and I do think about that a lot. Because I really still treat the food they buy if I'm at their house, like my dad's, way less than the food I buy. I use the same, I use the same toothpaste. I use the same toothpaste straight up for like six months after you think it's gone. I just keep going. I don't know how I do it. Me going to sleep knowing I don't need to be up early the next morning. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's such a good feeling, dude. And like the blankets even hit different. Even the bed feels colder. What are you doing? POV, you get sent out of the what class and another teacher's doing? walking down the hall. Nothing. Nothing? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Just hanging around. I always loved it because you felt like you had like some power to be out of class. In the middle of the night replying to my messages. Okay. Now that I do not relate to. You got y'all gotta explain that to me. You guys actually wake up in the middle of the night to answer ghost text messages? That sounds like a mental problem, guys. She not the pretty girl? You gonna fail or you gonna do well? Oh, good job. Oh, 
She passed, you failed? Wait a minute. Oh, snap. I don't know that that ever happened in our school. Like, I feel like they would have been caught or something, you know, if they just gave the pretty girl cheats. It didn't happen. How I think I look when people see me at the airport. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I'm trying to figure out which one of these is a filter because both of them look realistic, so I don't know. I don't know. When I'm in an airport, I just try not to make eye contact with anybody. I don't want anyone to see me. My tongue telling me that exactly where the food is stuck between my teeth. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? And like the fact that your tongue can get in there, your finger. Bro, I'll tell you the ultimate life hack. You keep your straw from a drink and then you floss around your whole tooth with a straw. ADHD and refuse to use the bathroom to the last second. Wait, is that an ADHD thing? Is that why I do that? Is that real? I feel like everybody does that, right? Does everybody else wait till the last second to pee till it hurts? Then you gotta go, cause I do that. It puts me to sleep. I can't eat before I work or record videos or I will get so tired I won't be able to move. When you're ill and you just lay there thinking about all the times you were healthy and how you took breathing through your nose for granted. I've had chronic back pain for a year that I'm still trying to figure out. And I look at people walking without pain and I just think like, wow, must be nice. I do that all the time. When you sleep so hard, you wake up and you need a nap from sleeping so hard. I feel like that's like when you wake up like in the middle of your sleep cycle and you need more sleep. That's the worst feeling, dude. It ruins your day. When you got no school and you find out your parents are staying home too. Yeah, I mean, it's good though sometimes because like they might make you food and like then it's like a dub. So it just depends. The part that usually hurts me in the song didn't hurt me enough. So I got to restart it. I got a song like that. I played when my cat died and every time I hear it, I'll be like, I got to I got to do that again. Every Gen Z's brain. Mm, no. um, Are they afraid to knock? I'm outside. <laughs> Are Gen Z's also afraid to tell waiters they don't like their food? I'm curious, because I feel like they are. When you go to your friend's house for the first time and their mom says, make yourself at home, <laughs> you just awkwardly sit on the chair. It's funny, it's funny, because there ain't no way I'm making myself at home. Getting picked up early from a sleepover. Okay, mom, I didn't know what time it was. Oh wow, that's accurate. Alex, wake up. Can you wake up, Jenna? Because I have to leave now. Jenna, Jenna. My mom is here to pick me up. That's Can so please funny. Walk me out? But I'm scared of your mom and she's gonna ask me if I want any breakfast. That's she's gonna ask her if I want any breakfast. Until everyone wakes up. Are you up? Oh, you're just turning over. Are you up, Jenna? That's so funny. I know you're parked outside. I am in a very stressful situation right now. Everyone's sleeping. I can't get out. We never got this because we didn't have cell phones as a kid. So our parents would walk in and then your parents would talk for like an hour with their parents. Try <laughs> this. <laughs> Yes, make sure you come down. I made food Bro. Yes. Yes, what are you doing? I literally would do this in the yes. shower. Yes. I would, before that I got in the shower, I would do planks to try to get a six pack secretly. And I don't know why I had to do it secretly, but like, I just didn't want people to know I was working out. I should, I should have done it like that. When your sibling makes their food look better. No, I never did this. Never had this problem. Uh, the best sibling rule we ever had was if you had to cut the food, if you cut the food, I pick the piece I want. Like that was the greatest rule ever. You cut, I choose. It's incredible because then they try to make it perfectly even and it's never even. So if you're the chooser, you always get the good piece. I never had a situation like that guy. When you're filming, turn the light on to talk to you like you can't hear in the dark. <laughs> and they leave the light on or they leave the door cracked. It is so annoying. It's like, close the door, leave it how you found it. ADHD right. stuff, taking so, a test. What is four plus four? What is four? What? Nah. Okay, what, uh, what is four plus four? I wouldn't do it because I'd be so afraid of getting a bad grade that it would like really propel me into like urgency and getting results. You're washing the dishes and your sibling brings more. Oh. Mom made me wash the dishes. And you come and bring more? <laughs> you're lucky you're older than me, bro. You will be in the trash can right now, bro. Mess with me. Get out the kitchen, bro. That's funny. That's funny. Dishes is always like the most hot topic. You know, it's tough. It's tough. Bro's done for. Woo! This is a this is a stressful time of life for him right now. 
Uh oh, he's coming back. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, that didn't that didn't work out how I wanted. That did not work out how I wanted. It's okay, I'll get it next time, you know? It's 4 a.m. in 2020, quarantine. I never danced at 4 a.m. on the quarantine. The heck? I was doing quarantine wrong then, apparently. I, I was doing quarantine wrong. I was just out there enjoying the peace and quiet and short traffic drive times that I had. Blings are supposed to be asleep. Yo, are you asleep? Bibi la poop. Hey, shut up! You're gonna wake up, mom! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm asleep. Our bedroom was literally right next to our parents growing up as a kid, so any noise we made, they would yell at us for. It was annoying. Okay, that kid in PE. There's no need to sprint. It's just a warm up. You're I'd be sprinting. Someone like me on your team. You can't what? tackle. But at the club I play at, we're allowed to tackle. Well, this is a school, and this is <sighs> PE class. We would do soccer, and obviously I played soccer growing up. I talk about it a lot. I remember thinking, like, this is my chance to impress everybody with how good I am, and I'll tell you right now, I did horrible. The pressure got to me playing soccer in front of my friends. It just, it was bad. How to fix the TV for your grandpa. Plug in the HDMI cable. Boy, you smart, boy. You're gonna be an electrician one day. <laughs> You're gonna be an electrician. Smarter than your daddy was, I'll tell you that. <laughs> The eyes looking in different directions makes that incredible. That's how grandparents all are. When you stay at your buddy's house and they forget to give you blankets. That dog is incredibly spoiled and I love it. That looks so nice. Wow. Even a fake window. I want to do that for my cats. Like, I feel like I got I got a little tiny room I could turn into a little cat room. Oh, don't, don't listen to me. I haven't even told my mom or my dad, okay? I'm sending this to my grave. I might die telling you. So, no. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> fine, I'll tell you. I don't know if I've ever had a secret that big that I had to do something like that with, but probably. Me coming home after wearing a new outfit to school. <laughs> What'd your friends think? Yeah. Or if it's new shoes, same thing. Checking my phone in a panic, thinking I overslept, but it's 4 a.m. <laughs> that is the exact reaction I have. POV, you're washing your face over the sink with the water from your elbow keeps dripping. That's why I don't wash my face over the sink. I do it in the shower exclusively, which is why I'll take a shower in the morning and night just so I avoid that. That was disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> That's the thickest piece of bologna I've ever seen in my entire life. That looks revolting. Oh, this sucks, dude. It's so annoying, and they don't even get up half the time. Like, it's like they don't even hear their own alarm blaring. That one thunderstrike in the middle of the night that everyone talks about in the morning, this just happened last night. Yeah. Literally happened last night. It was like one of the storms of the century in Ohio. And it was so loud. Me running for my brother after I hit him and I know he's going to hit me 10 times harder. <laughs> That's so funny. I was, I, was definitely, I was definitely the one that would be chasing them down for the 10 times harder hit. If you guys related to most of these, make sure you like the video because that's also relatable and I'll see you guys with the next one. Peace.